what's going on YouTube? He's Zach Ryder here. I am heading back up to Long Beach. Just had a nice little Thanksgiving uh, dinner, I guess. It was like a super late lunch. Because I have to go work Black Friday at work. Which really is Black Thursday now. Um, I was on YouTube the other day and I was watching some moto vlogs and I was watching DJ Moto Vlogs' video on how motorcycling changed his life. I gotta say, that was one of the best vlogs I've ever seen. So, awesome on that one. At the end of the vlog, he was saying he wished YouTube still had their video response thing. And I guess, you know, even though they don't have one, I figured I would just make a response video because motorcycling has definitely changed my life too. My story is not as crazy as, you know, ZJ's was, but I can tell you it's definitely had a hell of an impact on my life. For me, Music, I've, I've been a musician for years now. I've loved music. I always know I wanted to do something with music as a career later down the line. Um, I've done that since I started playing piano in uh, sometime in elementary school, I think third or fourth grade. But music for me has always been kind of the escape, that thing I can fall back on, always brings back a good mood on a bad day, you know, you name it, that was, that was my thing, that's, that is my thing, is music. Now that I'm in college for music, and I'm actually, and I'm doing stuff professionally in the media world, it's less of kind of a stress reliever because now there's this association with it as being a job. Now don't get me wrong, I still love it, but most of the time now when I sit down and I write music, you know, for a film or whatever, I'm doing it for a gig and there's a deadline attached to it. So it's rare that I can really sit down and just write something for fun. So I knew that I wanted to find a hobby that, I don't want to say it took, uh, you know, takes the place of music, but something to kind of do what music really strongly used to do for me. And I figured this would be the perfect thing for that. You know, I can tell you when I threw a leg over that ZX6R and that Ninja 250 and everything else back in 07, for the first time, I knew immediately when I sat down on the thing that this was something I wanted to do. I tried to get my parents to let me do it. They wouldn't let me. So I had to wait until I moved out to get one. But I can tell you that motorcycles have more than fulfilled that wish for me. I, thinking back on when I started, I don't even know which feeling was more powerful. When I either, when I sat down on the bikes at MSF for the first time and knew, all right, this time I'm the one that's gonna be in control. I'm gonna learn how to control this thing today. Or the first time I went out of my neighborhood on my mom's client's husband's Rebel 250 and experienced the road for the first time. I would say both were equally as amazing, but I can very distinctly remember getting out onto the road for the first time and getting it up to speed, going up a big hill. I can just remember my face. I, like CJ said, I wish there had been a camera on my face at that moment in time because it would have been, my face had to have lit up. I remember just having a huge smile on my face going, yes! Yes! <laughs> it was so fucking awesome. And I had that same feeling the first time I threw my leg over this and test rode it. I, 
was just thinking, oh my god, this is fucking ridiculous. And now I like live on this thing because I don't have a car or anything like that. So this this is what gets me from point A to point B. And now going to fucking work is a blast. Like I, I can look forward to my two mile ride to work. It just, it makes going anywhere an adventure. And it's a whole new way to see everything, really. Not just driving, it's not, it's a, you know, it's a whole new way not just to drive somewhere, but it's a whole new way to experience the world, in a sense. I, it's it's kind of hard to put this into words, but any, any of you guys that, everybody that rides knows what I'm talking about. I mean, Sorry for not doing it justice. And you know, not only that, but it's fun too. Now, it gets me outside too. My buddy and I like to, we wake up early and like, I think I've woken up as early as 5.45, go grab a bite and hit the canyons or the, the mountains or whatever. I'm lucky enough to be pretty close to Palos Verdes. Um, which is a nice little open, it's just a nice little hilly uh, neighborhood with uh, lots of twisties and it, it's along the coast. So I'm real lucky to live close to that. And then I'm about, I think an hour or so away from Angeles Crest, I think it's called, which apparently is a real popular hit. And then I'm 45 minutes away from Ortega Highway, which is awesome. I've ridden that once, and it was fucking awesome. And then if I want something a little easier, there's that road that kind of goes by Irvine Lake out off of uh, El Toro, and then it turns, it like cooks corners down over there and stuff, which is that biker bar for those of you uh, who aren't from around here. It's a real, it's kind of an upper, kind of like a, it's a really nice biker bar, and they have amazing food. But it's like, uh, it's, 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 I mean, yeah, it's, it's a whole fucking, it's a new way to experience getting from one place to another and just seeing the world. Like, there's nothing around me save my helmet. I mean, there's, I'm not behind glass and metal. I'm just sitting on this little machine that's getting me where I need to go. And it's something I can have fun on too. It's not just a tool for me, but it's an escape as well. Like when I go for those rides in the morning or sometimes I'll just take the long way home from work just as an excuse to be on this thing a little bit longer. And I could also be having the shittiest day and this thing will turn me right around. I can specifically remember one situation. I'm not gonna bore you all with the details, but I guess you could say it's a situation that pretty much everybody would find very stressful and hard and uh, decided, you know what, I'm going to go for a ride. And threw my gear on, got downstairs, saw my bike waiting for me in the garage, felt a little better, fired it up, heard that familiar sound of it whirring to life, felt even better threw a leg over it, got going. By the time I got back, I was right as rain. And to me, that's not something just your regular old commuter car can do. I mean, there's something very awesome about just being on, it's, it's just, it's me and the bike in the road. That's all, nothing else. So, woo! Hello. Sorry about the sun, that's gotta be glaring right on the camera. So, hopefully that kind of does it justice, kind of explaining how it changed my life and stuff. Like I said, my story is not as crazy as DJ's, but and it, ultimately, you really just have to kind of do it to know what I'm talking about. But I can tell you, any of you guys that are looking into it, you will not regret it. 
The only thing you'll regret is not doing it sooner. So. Absolutely 180% worth it. So, I will leave you guys with that. Have a happy Thanksgiving. And I will talk to you guys later. Yeah. <laughs>